en, en Los Cabos, uh, at the Cape, uh, Thompson Hotel, in this uh, wonderful view, and it's an honor for this uh, media to uh, have a conversation with one of the most important uh, gastronomy writers in the world, Mr. Tom Parker. Uh, first of all, uh, tell us, uh, why did you decide to enter in this uh, field of gastronomy? I love eating, you know, and, and to, to write about food, as you know, you have to love eating, and you see through food, you see culture, you see history, but also, you know, somewhere like Mexico, where you have culture, you have history, and there's some of the best food on earth. So whenever I'm here, anywhere in Mexico, I'm happy. What is exactly uh, you do to work? Because you, you've been writing uh, several books. I do books. I'm a restaurant critic for The Mail on Sunday. I'm a food editor for Esquire magazine. I work for Condé Nast Traveller for departures. And then books, recipe books. Uh, books about the history of food, books about strange food. You know, my whole life is built around eating. What is uh, the main goal for you uh, to describe some foods? The main goal for me is about enjoyment. You know, food, you can have all the Michelin stars and the 50 best and the 100 best. But for me, a good taco, uh, a good taco al pastor, or a birria, or a pozole is every bit as good as, as these restaurants that you have that cost $500 a plate, you know. I think food is about pleasure and enjoyment. And this is what I love about Mexico, is you have, it's very democratic. Everyone eats tacos, and every, you know, from presidents to sweet streepers, everyone appreciates good food. There's a big food culture here. Los Cabos is famous because the Hollywood movie stars come here, and the millionaires, and the private jets. is very much seen as corridor, especially especially as, as one of the best and most exclusive resorts in the world. We've spent a week in Baja, a little bit in the north and a lot in the south, and the fish, you have two, you know, you have the Sea of Cortez and you have the Pacific, that immediately gives you a lot of good fish. Um, so I'm looking for, for a taste of the region. I'm looking for, I'm not looking for food I can get in Paris or, or Rome or London or New York. I'm looking for food that I only find in Baja, like the chocolate to clams, uh, it's, the, you know, it's produce and it's, it's putting that produce together. What are you going to do? After this visit, um, I have got to go back to London, but I'm going to write about it for various magazines, and I'll think, tell my family that we've got to come to Baja California. This is, you know, it's not just about partying. It's not just about the sea, although that's beautiful. It's about the landscape. It's about this beautiful area. It's 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 very difficult. You know, you you fall in love with a place like this, and. Um, despite being British and, you know, it's hot. As I always take from Mexico is, is that big heartedness, that warmth. This is one of the great countries on earth and one of the great cuisines on earth. You know, you talk about French food or Italian food. I think Mexican food is up there with French, Chinese, Indian, Italian is one of the world's greatest and most diverse foods. With tequila, I like Blanco. I want to taste the agave. I don't like Blanco the... Blanco de Blanco, Blanco, Blanco. Oh, well, I know this, there's one called Heredura, Blanco de Blanco, which you can't get in, in uh, the UK. I, I love. It's, it's, it's just one of the great countries on earth and, and it's sad every time I leave and every time I come back I'm happy. It's Tom, that simple. Thank you. Thank so. you. Tom Parker here in Mexico in Los Cabos, the other Mexico sometimes. The other Mexico the other indeed. Mexico. I want to read that but book as well. Mexico. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you.